Hi, this is Kristen Pedia with Sunshine Reviews free tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing templates, which are one of the most complex items on a wiki. Templates are, for one thing, defined by their namespace. You can see here it says Templin colon mark Arizona. That's how you know that it's a template. What template means is that you can put some very complex code on one page and then use a shortcut by typing in curly braces to make it appear on another page. Templates are used for several reasons. The first one can be if you want to add paragraphs of the same text to numerous articles. The easy way to do that is to just put it in a template and copy and paste. Templates are also used for navigational purposes. You can see here we have a collapsible template up here and if I click on show, you're going to see almost every link that you can think of about Arizona government pops open. So this is one way that you can guide users to other articles. The same respect, in the upper right hand corner you can create info boxes that also can be used for navigation or summary of information. Templates can also be divided into different elements. For instance, if you had an info box and it listed the name of the leader of an organization, the name of the organization, and the type, then you could use templates to draw from that and filter them through dynamic page listings to give you charts, lists, or a number of other options. So let's explore a basic template. The first thing that we're going to do is go down to our advanced search and we're going to type in template colon mark. So that way you included the namespace. Then after that I'm going to do sample template. Actually, we aren't even going to include template in here. We're just going to do sample one. All right, you're going to see that pops up as red. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. You can see we're now editing our template. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add some red text to this. So we're going to do span style equals color colon mark red. Then we're going to close it with a caret and we're going to write this is red text. It is very pretty. And then we're going to close that span command. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save the page. And you're going to see that the red text comes up just like it would in an internal link. Now, what we're going to do is go to my sandbox, and we're going to go ahead and paste this template into that sandbox. So we're going to do contribute. We're going to type in those curly braces and we're going to do sample one. We're going to close the curly braces. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Now you're going to see that this red text pops up here. It's very easy. Now it doesn't matter how many elements you include in a template, they will all pop up in the same articles that they're pasted in. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and add a category to video tutorials in our template. Alright, got to close with those brackets and click Save. Now, once that this is saved over here, you can see that Category and Video Tutorials shows up on this page. And what you'll notice is that when I refresh this page, you're going to see category and video tutorials pops up here as well. Now if you want to include something in a template but you don't want it to show up on every article, there's a very easy way to do this. You're going to do no include within carrots and then you can type out for instance another category. So we're going to do category and then we're going to do webinars. We're going to close it and then we're going to do no include so now once you've done this, we're going to go ahead and click Save the Page again. And you're going to see that Webinars adds itself as a category to this page. Now because it has no include surrounding it, it means that it will not show up on this page. So even though this page has just been refreshed, there's no difference. Now, it's a lot easier to use existing templates than to create new ones. 
So in order to find which templates would best suit your article, what you're going to do is you're going to visit the category templates. Make sure you add that S. And you're going to see here we have all our templates divided by state and a couple of them defined by which topic they're covering. Templates can get complex very quickly. So if you'd like to design a more complex template, then please get in touch with me via one of our Wednesday webinars. They're every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Central. And if you found this tutorial helpful, then please consider a contribution to sunshinereview.org. Thank you, and I hope you check out our other tutorials.